Hey guys, welcome to video number two! Thank you so much for all the support as well as the new subscribers, all your beautiful comments. I've read them all on Facebook, whether it be text message or even on the video itself. And uh, today's video is going to be a winterlicious tag. So obviously it's a series of holiday related questions just to get to know me better. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Now the first question of this winterlicious tag is favorite winter nail polish and I don't particularly have one but I do love the nail polish I have on today. It is Bewitching by Revlon and just to give you a close up. Now this is a nice burgundy color, more on the rosy pinky side rather than the brick red or the brown burgundy color you're thinking of. Now it is called Bewitching so it is kind of a fall color but it's a nice transition into winter and as long as you pair it up with some glitters or something nice at the end of your nail bed. It instantly glams it up for the holidays, so that's why I like that one. I am wearing a MAC Pro Longwear lip cream color, but you probably can't tell because I am filming at night. But uh, just to give you a close up, it's really close to the burgundy color I do have on my nails. And uh, again, this is a lip cream that is Pro Longwear, so it does have a good staying power with all the food that you eat and all the hours that goes by during the day and it goes on really smoothly as a Don't you buy me Don't you buy We all love our chunky sweaters and just our nice warm cozy clothing pieces but actually my favorite clothing piece is something that I really need during those cold days and it is my Columbia base layer. Now I know it's kind of weird but I do wear this a lot a lot a lot when I'm out for all day when I'm commuting by bus and I need to be out outside during those cold windy days. Now this is a base layer so basically it's what you wear under your clothing pieces and what's so special about this one is that it does have the reflective uh, material inside so this one basically acts like an emergency blanket that they throw on you when you have hypothermia or it's similar to the reflective material of your lunchbox when you were young. Now because it does have this reflective material called the Omni Heat by Columbia, it does take about 20% of your own heat that you generate and reflect it back on yourself and because of this lovely on the heat shiny material it also reduces the static that usually comes in winter so it's instantly feel warm because you even generate heat when you're just sitting down so it's a great great piece to have and i know that it may seem like it'll be bulky in the winter under my skinny jeans you can't even tell at all it is a pricey item but it's a good purchase to have just as a statement piece during the winter so you can wear it every day or you could wear it when you're going out and doing activities in the winter. The most beautiful time of the year. I would have to say that it is my Coach Leather Gloves. Now these gloves I got as a gift a few years ago, so they're kind of beat up and not in a mint condition, but it is a nice leather glove, and it does have this uh, gold buckle right here, as well as uh, green and yellow stitching just as an accent at the ends. It is a cashmere glove, so it is extremely warm, warm, warm and I absolutely love it because you could either dress up or dress down. I do love the Bath & Body Works um, hand sanitizer. I love their winter scents. This one in particular is from last year. This is Ribbon Candy and Canberry Oh, I was reading French one and winter cranberry really nice and subtle not too overwhelming as a hand sanitizer and obviously these are their signature scents so they do have it in their candles in their lotions and whatnot so I love any of the Bath and Body Works scents except for the pine cone the, the nature smelling ones I don't really like them. I also don't have a favorite winter beverage, but all year round, I love, love, love to have a vanilla latte. And uh, in the winter time, I love that sweetness. I did try some of the Starbucks holiday drinks, and I didn't really like them. Um, the salted caramel is not too, too bad. The next question is a favorite all-time Christmas movie, and no doubt it is Santa! It is The Elf and um, I've watched it in the theaters, I've watched it every year since it's come out, I've had this um 
for a while and uh, I'm absolutely in love with this. I love Will Ferrell. I've loved him since Saturday Night Live. I loved him and Chris Kattan when they were on. Uh, I just love it and every time I laugh and cry throughout this movie and it's just amazingly funny. So, so, Talking about classic Christmas songs, I love Last Christmas by Wham and all my friends can vouch for that because I always sing it all year round for karaoke. Um, I love it when I hear it on the radio, it's just like I hear it for the first time every time. But if we're talking about a modern Christmas song, I definitely love, and I'm so embarrassed to say this, but I definitely love uh, Justin Bieber's Mistletoe. That is also another song that I listen to all year round and every time I hear it, it just reminds me of Christmas so much. Like Christmas goes by so quick so why not hear that stuff all year round and uh, before I didn't like Bieber but he's growing on me guys he's growing on me I love going home for the holidays in Montreal and uh, my family would always have a bûche de noix it looks like a log which is bûche in French and it's just a long cake that you can have with different decorations and uh, for some reason I don't find those too much over here in Ontario Alright guys, I removed the Christmas hat because it was getting really staticky with my hair but question number 10 is what is your favorite Christmas decoration this year? I would have to say that I love the Scarborough Town Center decoration. It's a mall in the GTA and it's the same as last year from what I can see from my friend's Instagram and as you can see in the picture it has a lot of details, lots of toys, lots of blown up stuff and I find it really cute and homey for Christmas and Scarborough Town Center actually puts up its decorations really early from what I can remember and what I also like is the Christmas market that we have in Toronto basically that's kind of an outdoor uh, Christmas festival and it has, it has different vendors that has food that has decorations things that they want to sell in terms of food there's things like poutine pigs in a blanket there's different kind of beers and, uh, and uh, they have absolutely nice decorations I'll show you some pictures from last year when I went I have yet to go this year but I'm so excited for that second last question is what is at the top of your Christmas list I don't really have a gift that I want because everything that I've wanted I've either bought or I got it as a present my birthday is actually really close to Christmas so I kind of get a double present but this year I've already gotten my birthday present and I kind of told my significant other to not get me a Christmas present just because I don't really need anything but I, what I want to get for myself is this Kate Spade bow bracelet I'll give you guys a picture of that I recently saw it on Instagram and I immediately googled it and loved it and it's a nice gold bracelet that has a nice touch of a feminine bow and lately I've been into gold rather than silver although my necklace here is silver but I like gold equally and uh, I just find it so timeless and so nice and the last question is what are your plans for Christmas now I'm so lucky to have kind of a double vacation going on uh, first of all I'll be spending a few days with my whole extended family in Montreal specifically in Mont Tremblant we will rent out a chalet and uh, my whole family is going to be there to celebrate my grandma's 80th birthday we're also going to hit this a few days after I will be leaving on my birthday so that'll be on the 29th and I'll be going on a week cruise Caribbean vacation. I'll be hitting up three locations which are Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, as well as St. Martin. I'm so excited to get this pasty white skin tan and I just can't wait to get away from this Canadian weather to soak up some sun. I hope to share some pictures with you guys but uh, that's it for the Winterlicious Tech today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video. Bisou bisou! Actually, I forgot that this is a tag video, so nobody tagged me to do this video, but I really want to share with you guys some of my winter favorites, but I tag Olives here on YouTube. She's my personal friend, and uh, she works in retail, so she knows that Christmas music runs all December long, and I know she hates it, so it'll be really interesting to see some of her answers. So Olivia, I tag you.